Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Stock Center. I'm your host, Kyle Ashby, and I'm your co-host, David Miller. I'm lead analyst, Tristan Blunzo. I'm stock analysis, Kenny Bears. And welcome to Stock Center. Welcome back to Stock Center. We have a very interesting episode for you today, and now to David Miller. Hello. We have brought in lead analyst Tristan Bledsoe over here and stock analyst Kenny Mayers on my left to discuss the ups and downs on today's stock market. And now to Kyle Ashby. And do not forget, you know what today is. It is the weekly Not Top 10 where we feature all the bad stocks of this week. What goes up must come down. Unless, of course, you are Netflix. 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 So, Tristan, a big controversy going on with Netflix right now. I'd love for you to share with me kind of the ups and downs of what's going on with Netflix during this month. Well, shares of the stock in the last month of May have risen up, risen up a whopping 30%. Tristan, I'm looking at the opening closing prices of Netflix, and I can see that it's only had four down days. It's gone up nearly $100 in the past month. I can agree with that. According to facts that I have uh, these numbers that the stock is trading 102 times its 2014 estimated earnings and it's 61 times its 2015 earnings. Kenny, do you think that this stock will reach a new high in the next month? Uh, David, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say no. I don't believe that it will reach over $458 high. So I guess the question that's arising here is what should owners do with their Netflix stocks at this point? Well, I can agree with Kenny in saying that I do believe Netflix has hit its high and it's going to slowly mount its way down. So my advice to you is sell the stock while it's high. Sell your stocks! You heard it here first. That's what you know. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, Netflix, Netflix probably will not continue its success. And you heard it here from Tristan Bledsoe and Kenny Mares that you should sell your Netflix stock. Sell your Netflix stock. And this concludes our episode of Stock Center for the day. We'd like to thank our guests, Kenny Mayers, and our guest, uh, Tristan Bledsoe. It's been a pleasure for having both of you here. It's, it's been a great experience. It's been thank awesome. Thank you a lot for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate your company. It is time for the not top 10. This is my favorite segment. My favorite part. This is where we show the biggest fails in stocks. I love this week. Like, this week. I'm, I'm jazzed up about this. I hope you're ready to get out there. We need to see these real nice. Let's do this. Real fun clips. Coming up first for your weekly top not top 10, we got Unisys Corporation out of the tennis courts. Let's see what we got for us here, ladies and gentlemen. The stock's looking good, and oh, just plummets right over the top. Ah, uh, whips the serve. Oh, the racket flying and everything. That stock is oh, not going to hold up that's on the stock exchange. That's a rough looking stock. You see the there stock just soar right over. Ah, uh, she's a beauty, that number nine. We've got E-Trade Financial Corporation. The easy, easy steal and fast break, and oh, and he can't finish. Citigroup here at number eight, go for the big slam, and oh, rejected by the rim. Citigroup cannot hang on and no, slam no, at no. home. No, 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 not to Nuh-uh-uh, uh, we say on. no. Got number seven, Freddie Mac here, out on the pitch. Nice, easy ground ball. Let's see what we got here, and through the wickets. I told you to pick that one up, it was a big good stock, and then hold like on. like a routine ground ball, Tristan. Here we see GDSU Uniface Corporation, a really good telecommunications company. Should be able to lock in this deal, no problem. And oh, oh the that, deal that, slips that, that, right through the glove. Wow, uh, we got Great Atlantic Pacific Antique. Supposed to be a great stock this Smash. one. Oh, go! Oh, oh. That, that was. That did not go according to plan. A lot farther than I thought it would go. Here we see Fannie Mae. Right here, this next stock coming up here at number no. four. Looking to get some yardage, and oh, it goes right off the top of his head. Uh, yeah, so right. on. Number three, AIG here. Got a nice little open opportunity to score, and, and he 
Yeah, there we go. Right over the thing. Line RC Worldwide here with the fast break looking for the score and oh, he lifts on the left! That is an Number embarrassing Number one, fail. we got Eastman Kodak Company. As a goal, he leads it by! Oh! <laughs> that concludes my top 10. Thank you very much. This is your first time, Aspie. Thanks for watching. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What's wrong, buddy? I think my girlfriend is going out with me. You should run. My girlfriend is going out with me. I quit. Oh my good job. We can make out. <laughs> this is on camera. This is all going in. This guy. Yeah, very nice. This guy. Yeah. Tristan, the magnitude of this of this move has people. Always do this should be the worst stop ever. Stop analysis. This is what. Bad stuff about the picture. We all like going to the back end. Will you turn that joke to be just. He's literally choking. <laughs> that you should sell your Netflix stock. Sell your Netflix stock. Da na na! Da na na! Sell stock! Sell it! <laughs> you don't want it!